welcome back. Um, please don't mind my lack of makeup. <laughs> I just got home from work, but I really wanted to quickly um, do a video on a procedure that I had done a few hours ago, earlier today. Um, I had the PDL laser treatment done on my port wine stain. Um, a port wine stain is a birthmark. It is red. It kind of just looks literally like red wine was kind of splashed onto my skin. Um, it looks, well, I had the procedure done, so um, my skin is a lot darker than it would be, and you can tell where the lasers kind of went on, but, don't get scared, <laughs> it looks like that, and I also have it on um, my upper arm as well, but then my doctor basically just took the laser and he just kind of, you can see like the dots and everything, and it made it a lot darker, um, it, the procedure did not hurt, it kind of just felt like a rubber band, kind of, you know, um, going at your skin. Um, I've had laser hair removal and that hurt a ton. This, um, you know, it wasn't like something I would want to feel every minute of the day, but it was definitely something that's doable and, you know, my face, I didn't, you know, I wasn't like squinting or trying to catch my breath or anything. It didn't, it didn't hurt <laughs> as bad as it sounds or you would think it would. But, um, yep, so I don't know how many treatments I'm going to need. Um, it is a very big birthmark, and like I said, I have, I don't know if I can, I have a bunch up here. Um, I've had it my whole life. I've always gotten questions, of course, um, because, you know, it's unusual to have something red and splotchy all over your arm. Um, I've been asked if it was poison ivy, um, if it's psoriasis, um, if I got burnt. I've been asked who hit you by some lovely man in Brooklyn. Um, I've just been, you know, you name it, I've been asked it. <laughs> um, but it is just a port wine stain. Um, I was born with it. My, I had extra blood vessels while I was developing that didn't seep into the skin. Um, and I've tried to read about it online and they don't know the cause of it. It's just kind of like a mutation. Lucky me. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I, I've had it, you know, my whole life, it's a part of me. It's kind of weird, um, you know, when people, when I recently was asked, do you want to get rid of it? Um, you know, here's your opportunity. I was kind of, you know, on the borderline because, I don't know, it, it is a part of me. It makes me different. Um, I like being different. I don't like being like everybody else. But um, the more I talk to, like, my mom and people around me, um, they were like, you know what, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And... You know, people with port wine stains, they're usually born with it on their face or, you know, um, in, I guess, a more visible spot. Um, and, you know, they would die for this opportunity. So, um, I just decided to go for it. Um, so, I go back. My cat's come in to say hi. I go back for treatment um, in July next month. And um, I guess, you know, my doctor said that it, it might, you know, um, bruise. Um, there might be some, I guess, flaking. I have to, baby, get away, come on. Sorry. <laughs> All his hair flew around too. <laughs> um, I have to be with, with warm, not hot water. Um, I have to keep the area moist with aloe vera or um, some cream. Healing ointment. You wanna say hi? This is not what I expected. You wanna say hi, big boy, huh? Hi. This is Sebastian. I call him Bash. He is a lunatic, but I love him. He's my baby. And he's going to go and let mommy do her video. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's about it. Um, so I just kind of want to put it out there. If you have a port wine stain or you know somebody who does, um, you're not alone. <laughs> and um, I guess, you know, I'll keep you updated to see if this really works, if it really does fade. I'll put a picture of what it looked like before. Um, and wow, it's going to be so weird having a normal colored arm if this works. Mm.